For fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 22 coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. Use code MMG for 10% off. It is still playoff season! Woo! The Rome ain't coming off, baby. The Rome is not coming off. Not until we get this fat, juicy ring on my finger. And no, I'm not talking about the one that Jackson Mahomes got on his knees and offered me. Huh? Sadly, I had to decline. I'm talking about the ring from this. I'm actually having an aneurysm here for a second, but is this my fifth Super Bowl? I said it before and I'll say it again. This is the best season of Wheel of Mutt we've ever had. At least gameplay-wise, I am killing it. We did have the first the first taste of blood, the first sad experience in the last playoff run. We lost in the wild card. But we've already gotten over that hurdle with a huge, resounding 25-7 win after being down 7-0 to start that game. Am I scared? Am I a little nervous for this divisional? Absolutely. But I'm only nervous for my opponent whose cheeks are about to get clapped. We added Darrell Revis. Revis Island, who had a nasty pick six to clutch that game up, demoralize our opponent, and basically ice that bitch. That's really what he did. We also added Evan McPherson, one of the deadliest snipers in the league. Such an athlete, dude. I love McPherson. Looks like we're going to the AFC Championship. What a savage. What a savage. Defensively, we're looking good. You know, Kerrigan, despite not being a very good overall, as far as the rest of his team is concerned, had a big game. He missed a crucial tackle, but after that, two sacks uh, and then Chase Young put it away with the final one. I think we should upgrade Eric Armstead and Ryan Kerrigan here. If we're not going to upgrade them, we don't have the choice. Should be a center or a fullback. Other than that, I'm very confident in this team. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you as always for following me on this epic journey of Wheel of Mutt. It is two days until the real life Super Bowl, right? Should be two days till real life Super Bowl. I, I don't know who you guys are rooting for, but I do have to say it is America's Super Bowl, baby. Brad Stafford play for the poverty ass Lions. I watched him win us so many games that we never should have won. And maybe our team was worse off because of it, because I would have liked to tank. But Frat Stafford doesn't have it in his DNA. And also, he's not getting paid 100k to lose games. And Joe Shiesty on the other end? How can you hate Joe Shiesty? Other than maybe Antonio Brown? Who? He's the most likable guy. America's Super Bowl, baby. You guys know I kind of I kind of had to lean toward the Rams. I really want Stafford to get a ring before he retires. It'll make his legacy so much better. But I'm not going to be unhappy if Joe Shiesty gets it. But we can't be worried about that right now. We need to Lock it in, dial it up, dial it in! Because it's Wheel of Might, it's the divisional. I can't be doing that with the division. Holy shit, a lot just happened, but we got Team of the Week jackpot. And it with Team of the Week jackpot. My only problem with Team of the Week jackpot, I don't think those positions are included anywhere in the Team of the Week promo. Yeah, there's an 87 Robert. Oh, I did have that Robert Hunt before, but I can't do that. It's not even a significant upgrade. I think Team of the Week here, we're gonna have to go left end or D-tackle. And I'll most likely go D-tackle and just move, move Kerrigan to where Armstead is. Well, this is a Team of the Week jackpot. This 97 overall Hassan Reddick is just asking to be purchased here. So we're gonna have to put the different you know, whatever chemistry's on him. A left end and not a right end. Or I could do it in the reverse order. Actually, I will. I'm gonna move Chase Young to left end and I'll make Hassan Reddick actually right end. And I'm gonna give edge threat to Hassan Reddick. Team of the week jackpot gives us a 97 overall beast in Hassan Reddick. Now I have two speed demons on either end of the defensive end. It's massive to have that. And now he is one of the highest overall players on defense. In fact, he might even make the top three now. Our first wheel spin was massive. That is huge. I really like to see that. I think if I can beg, I'll take a center here. Oh. Yes! Team of the year jackpot. I can literally, I can get anything I want. I could go Javon Hargrave, 96 overall, D-tackle. Although I don't think my D-tackles are where I'm going to be losing games. I think the move here is the team of the year fullback. Is that really the move or is it the team of the year center? One thing I did bad last game, which I, I wish I could take back, was I didn't establish the run game. And I know it's there for me. I've got Adrian Peterson. Let's get the center. Ah, it's Jason Kelsey. All right. Oh, shit. I forgot. I typed in Kelsey. I forgot they're, these dudes are, these dudes are brothers. That's so weird. And they both made the playoffs. And they both got booted out of the playoffs. Playoffs. At least they can watch Joe Shiesty and Matthew Stafford from the couch together. Jason Kelsey, welcome to the team, baby. 96 Jason. Dude, I love that. Look at this offense. Everybody on my offensive line is a 93 or better. Darren Waller can block too. And you know what's cool? All of my wide receivers are young and physical. Like physical wide receivers. Those are some good blockers. The game plan here should be to establish the run and then go deep when he bites on. As opposed to just chucking shit up early. Because that's how I had a horrible drive last game. All right, now is the Madden 22 challenge wheel. This could clutch me up. A team of the year pack. <laughs> it looks like 20 plus yards pitch back in the playoffs. You got. It. Yes! Yes! 
I mean, again, the guy, the guy last game was actually very good. It was the pick six that iced it up, and the guy last game had the exact same team. First and ten. Let's do it, boys. Let's just dump this off. Let's go. Wait a second. Why does Peterson have so much room? We're all the way down to the 41 on the first play. I've hit him with a few pass plays now. Does he have inside stuff? He does have run stopper, but that's only if he uses it. He does not appear to be using it. Oh, God. I'm not giving up on the run game just because of one bad run play. Third and five, he bites. Read option. Tebow's got it. I am not even considering trucking through that man. If this was Tim Tebow gameplay, sure. If this is Wheel of Mutt divisional playoff, I'm hitting my ass on the ground after a first down. Establish that run game, baby. Hit him with one read option already. We're gonna go right back up and look at that runoff. Did you see that linebacker? He was running with Debo Samuel because he thought it was a pass play. You guys know there's an ability for that too. It's called runoff elite. It's like engineered for that scenario. We're gonna go back to the pass here. Shit, he got around that. Get down, get down, get down. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go, juke inside. Jesus. He's on Camp Chancellor. I think he's gonna have to respect Darren Waller and I'll be able to hit Metcalf. Go, go Timo! You are built different! I love you, Timo! He even did the, he did the Timo! Dude, what a rush! He kind of glitched there. That was fucking insane. I would have had to have made a very difficult decision if we hadn't converted there too. So he's got the legend Russell Wilson at quarterback. That quarterback does scare me. Oh, throws underneath. Oh, uh, left side is open. I'm on both of these. I'm on both of these. Oh, little wobbler going up in the air. I just realized there's no playoffs emblems on the field. I hate when they... Oh, you know why there's none? Because this is fucking... See, look, it says NFL Divisional right there. It's obviously Divisional. It's because it's Pizza Hut Stadium. You guys think I'm a sellout, bro? EA is a sellout. They sold out so hard that I don't even get my Divisional logos. It really, like, adds such a nice feel to it for me. Lurk, throw it right here. You're so scared. Also, if this guy turns it over here, I am looking for Debo Samuel touchdowns and only Debo Samuel touchdowns. Along with my challenge wheel. Okay. Okay, that's a turnover. Yo! Matt, wait, pitch back, pitch back. Oh, okay, you gotta go 20 from there. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! That's got it. That had to have been 20. Let's go! I just got my challenge. That was the exact scenario. So, he advanced 20 yards from where he caught the pitch back. Challenge complete. There could not have been a better scenario for that, seriously. That made the challenge look really easy, but trust me, I have failed that many times in the past. First and 10. Let's get a Debo tutty, dude. Oh, shit. Dodged it. You're bad. You're bad. Um, nope. Well, sort of. So we're looking for Waller or Peterson. Oh, shit. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Waller? Waller? No! He was wide open. I fucked it. I'm gonna look for Waller coming across this formation here. Wait, Metcalf! Metcalf! Metcalf, stay in bounds, stay in bounds, stay in bounds. Oh, damn, first and 10, turnover on downs. I swear. Am I throw underneath? Get there. What a play. That's Chase Young. Chase Young on the opposite side that he's used to. I'm on this. I'm on this. Oh, Chase Young again. Two minute warning coming up, fourth in. A whole lot. Yeah, just get to him before he can throw anything that would get us in trouble. Debo Samuel touchdown? A little Debo Samuel touchdown here? The amount of times we picked with Isaiah Simmons and just walked out at the one for Debo is, is actually like comical. Just sit right there. Don't get, don't get sketchy. Just hang out. And if you're wide open, right foot to you. I really thought that was wide open. Oh my God, he's gonna return it. No, God, please, no, no. What was that defense? No. So what I get for trying to play fancy. I know you guys are probably freaking out. You think I might sell this game. I promise you, I won't. He's impressed. I think we actually got the pass this time. Oh. What a throw. Third and four. It's actually kind of a clutch play right here. What the fuck? Ooh, RB was there. Ooh, what a block. Six rushes, 50 yards for Tebow. That's a hell of a block, dude. Let's go Adrian Peterson. I said I wanted to establish the run, right? Yes, I can. Oh my God. I said I'd do it, boys. If I sell this, I'm gonna shoot myself. It will be one of the greatest Wheel of my tragedies. Oh. 
Psych! I look, I know that's the wrong side for Tebow to be scrambling, but that is an easy pass. That is so easy. He's just standing there. I'm choking too hard. I have to take the touchdown. Are you running it? No, you're not. I mean, it's hard to pass out of this. Jesus. Play action this time. Where are you going to throw them? There's the dive. I'm. F That's just completely filled. He is in goal line. Third and nine. Big stop. Yup. Yup. Oh, no. Oh, yes. My God, again. Come on, baby. Get to the one. Get to the one. Ugh. Um, go upfield. Yes, sir. Just secure catch it and roll out at the four. So Debo Samuel can somehow come in here and get a touchdown. Debo over the middle. Come on, baby. It's got to be there. Oh, it's not. Oh, keep coming, Debo. Keep coming, Debo. Got him. Finally. Let's go. But much better. Second half already. Maybe I should have listened to you sooner. I roll out to the left with Debo. I hit Debo on the left. Easy pass. This is the Iron Curtain, the Steel Curtain. I don't know what they call it. I'm blitzing him. I'm looking for a, a corner route out of his tight end. No. Okay. A little shocked. Oh, Revis Island can't step up. And he finally gets some yards. I respect it. Well, it's not exactly the methodology I was going for, but I do get the ball back. Admittedly, I was playing a little uncharacteristic, a little aggressive. I love that Ray Lewis comes in. I really need a backup tight end too, huh? Ooh, barely. A little double me on our boy Darren Waller here? I don't wanna like actually, ooh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We've literally been in this scenario three times now in the same game. I'm just gonna snap it. Oh my God, he's fucking butt naked. He's wide open. All right, I cracked the code, at least against this guy's defense, I cracked the code. Jeez. 28 to 14, two touchdowns for our boy Debo Samuel. And you know, I don't know, some of you guys were saying that, you know, we should make the power up player power up faster. But I don't know, I mean, I'm about to have him maxed out right in line with the Super Bowl. So at least for this season, I was perfectly in sync. First and 10, he is not gonna rage quit. Which is good news. That is play action. I didn't expect it. Throw here, throw here, throw here, throw half back. Oh, okay. Wait, let's get a hit stick fumble. God, his offense is weird right now. And how did you just get a reach for it? I'm Isaiah Simmons. It's still fourth and inches though. So you got to find a way to power this through if you want it. Short and underneath. I would bet a lot of money on it. Right here. Oh, he's not going to throw it. What? Ramsey! Since Hassan Reddick was a jackpot, I should power him up. I should put Hassan Reddick at left end where Chase Young is and give him edge threat. Because if Chase Young's doing this much damage, it might as well be Hassan Reddick doing it. Mine. No. Whoa! Whoa, 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 This was a closer game. I would be so mad. I stood right on top of that and held Y. And Isaiah Simmons stood there like he just saw Medusa. Frozen. You're really gonna make me max out Debo Samuel. I have a run and gun. We have perfect throw accuracy on the run and Darren Waller has double me. And I have daylight. And we're gonna take it. Should have a few different double teams. Tebow. Adrian Peterson. Why did the fuck open come here? Oh, I wanted I wanted the nastiest truck animation. Adrian Peterson over the middle or Waller on the left side. Whoa, 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 whoa! That is not what I thought just happened there. Oh my god, I just turned it over. Play action. And a sack. Wait, what happened? Yes! Hassan Reddick! I, I've never tried to sell a game so hard in my life. Apparently, I have six sacks now. All right, I got that. Oh my God, how did he complete that to LeGarrette Blunt? He's gonna beam one up. He makes a bad decision. Nine seconds on the clock, not picked off. Revis Island! Clutches up another game! And I ain't doing shit with Debo Samuel. Not anymore. I really tried so hard to lose that game, but I didn't.
We're headed to the NFC Championship. And we just got two upgrades and, oh my God, and a Team of the Year pack for completing our challenge. It's so ironic. That might've been the, one of the sketchiest, saddest games. And yet in Wheel of Mutt terms, it was the best. I am one touchdown away from a maxed Debo Samuel. There's one upgrade right there. And there's one more. Look at this monster. Debo is now a 95 overall. His attributes are already nasty. 95 speed, 95 jump. He is officially better than DK Metcalf and one team of the year pack. Any offensive lineman other than a center is an upgrade. Any wide receiver is an upgrade. On defense, safeties and corners would not help. D-line would not help. Wish me luck, boys. I'm going for one team of the year offense pack right here for completing my challenge in the playoffs. Come on, baby! Come on, baby! No, do mm. I didn't get the fucking animation. I'm not even gonna look. We're just opening another one. Whatever that first player has, we're not counting. Let's go, baby! The animation is up! Our player is Justin Jefferson! Jay Jettas! Wow, we got some Vikings on this playoff push. That's actually hot. AJ Brown is always out there sketching me out, dude. Guy's just being a sketch ball. DK Metcalf in one fellow swoop. Hence himself in wide receiver number three. What a clutch, clutch team to your offense back. Let's go see what that first pack was. It was... Oh, it's not necessarily an L. He's about as good as Tebow, but I, there's no way I would sub out Tebow right now. After everything Tebow's done for us, no shot. We just sweated out one hell of a wheel of mutt. A weird game, but a two touchdown challenge complete onto the NFC Championship type of game right there, boys. Hey, tomorrow, I'll see you for the NFC Championship. So don't go anywhere. Make sure you have your phone on you. Make sure you're, you've got a good dinner set up ready for tomorrow. Make sure you've got 15 to 25 minutes blocked off to watch this super heater. And then on the day of the Super Bowl, Check on YouTube two hours before and that's when I'll be playing my Super Bowl. I love you boys. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace